Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the German Reich in Hearts of Iron 4 as my paper falls off. So, a few comments. Uh, one comment from yesterday was saying is in a maybe future playthrough play as Vanilla France, and when the Germans want the Rhineland back, say no. Which obviously will spawn a civil war in France, as well as trying to fight the Germans off. I think I've tried that once, it's pretty darn difficult. I would really have to look into how to managing that. Alright, next up is... Uh, someone wants me... God dang it, this stupid paper. Someone wants me to coup some sort of major nation and uh, give our alliance more land. Well, let's start with the second part. Oh, Axis. I am in the faction or alliance called the Axis, so I'll make sure that the Axis definitely gets more land. But coup a major nation. Well, you know what? That's really interesting. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will definitely start now because if you don't start now, or actually, it already might be too late for me to achieve this. But, for me to do that, for me to coup a major nation, you have to start early and make sure they have an, the coup people have enough support. And let's just say we go to the United States and give them a little bit of my PP, political power, and uh, make them happy. By fascism is happiness. Didn't you know that? Yeah. And that'll cost... A little bit of political power, but we got plenty of political power because of Martin Bormann and Rudolf Hess, who are silent workhorses. So we will try to coup the United States. I really don't think this is going to go very well for us, but you never know. So, we'll definitely try that. Uh, maybe we'll try some alternative history stuff once we're done with our main stuff, like taking out the French, taking out the British, and stuff like that. I'm really thinking about screwing up the Middle East. Anyways, and then the last comment that was regarding this yesterday's video was... Playing with the Hungarian flavor mod, I have not, or I was not aware of that mod, the Hungarian flavor mod. It looks really, really interesting, and uh, yeah, I would definitely look into using that. Anyways, let's get into the game. So right now, I have sent my fleet out to go ahead and prepare themselves for the war with the Poles. Uh, you guys are somewhat damaged, but you're all pretty experienced, and even though you're kind of crappy ships. Uh, oh, actually, there's a design feature on this now? I did not know there was a design feature. That's actually really useful. Yeah, this ship is crap. Look at look at this. Our battleship, all we have is on the top row, anti-air. Oh, my goodness. But that's all we need right now. All right, cool. Uh, let's see, 69%. Oh, 69%. Very cool. Uh, one thing, I don't mind spending political power on my PP to improve the United States' fascist ideology support because... We will lose MEFO bills, which means we do get back some more political power, but we will get normalized construction speed for everything but civilian factories. So I'm actually okay with that since we will get a lot of factories away from Poland. Anyways, and since we have 151 political power, I'm ignoring this. Uh, there, there's really nothing else I can do except for improve work conditions, which I might do eventually. But since we are here, I could go not go with war economy yet. Actually, that would be actually very, very beneficial because of the fuel situation. But, I will go with this because we want to get Heinz Guderian because he gives you daily army XP, which is very crucial for what we are going to do. 10% <clears throat> land auction research speed, which is actually very crucial for researching that as fast as possible. As well as plus 10% armor speed. Now, speed isn't a major, huge determining factor in how well you can take out an enemy. But, compared to Mobile Warfare Doctrine, this is the land doctrine that we are trying to use, that we are will use for our land doctrine, it gives you plus 5% or 15% bonus when researching mobile warfare, or you could just do this guy, which costs 100 less political power, but also gives you more max speed. So that's actually so much better than von Manstein's uh, theorist. So let's go with Heinz Guderian. That's actually very good. And let's go ahead and go to war. No one's guarding the Polish. Also, by the way, before we actually go to war, I want to clarify one thing. I'm going to war with early, which locks me out of a few... Uh, focuses. Most notably, since it says Danzig or War, or Danzig for Slovakia, since we're going to go to war now, um, yeah, we won't get a core on Danzig, I think. I can't remember, but really my goal is to take out the Poles early on, which means I'm locked out of Around the Magonaut, Operation Vesa Ubung, uh, War with France, uh, War with Switzerland, as well as reintegrating Luxembourg and alsace lorraine Um, it's just because I need these factories early on, and I want to make sure I do the best I possibly can. If I lose a little bit of population from, what is it, Danzig? A million population. That's a chunk of people, two million here. But the way I play, I won't need any extra manpower, hopefully. 
Alright, let's go ahead and go to war. Now, we don't really have a major navy. Oh, see, when we go to war, we'll remove MEF Obels. Fine with me. I don't care. Uh, lower war support, lower stability, whatever. And because of that, you let's give him a general to start with. Heinz, you're back! Kind of. You're on the way to traveling back from there. Awesome. Uh, yeah. The poles. You guys say you'll do okay, which is fine. We also have air support. So, that should be pretty good. And then, over here... You guys are actually very inexperienced, which I'm a little concerned with, but I did change the reinforcement to high, while everything else is either medium or low. And this will be good for army XP as well. There we go. So even on low, we're being very careful. We can still probably do a very good job. Also, I did give Model Aggressive Assaulter, so an increased chance of executing assault and shock tactics, which sounds pretty good. I'm not exactly sure if they are very good. But they sound good, right? They sound good. That's what matters. If, as long as it sounds good, it's okay. Oh, excuse me, that's a little bit of water. Uh, tanks. Yeah, we need to improve our tanks. Heinz Guderian. I did give him Panzer Expert. And I have my ships here guarding this area just in case. Germany at war again. No one cares. Thankfully, no one cares. Uh, you guys don't have a really good chance of winning, but that's okay. And I don't have that much command power to force an, a faster, harder attack. I want you to come up here. Cut off Danzig. That's really my goal. Uh, take half of you guys and attack Danzig. Oh, actually, you know what? Don't don't attack Danzig. Attack this area. That would be better. Cut off Danzig. So we have one major group here. My goal may be less than 50,000 casualties to take out the Poles. I think that would work probably the best. Oh, and by the way. Cool, we got our other tanks back. And do that instead. Awesome. And now you have four tank divisions in total. Very good. Wow, the center line is actually pushing in pretty pretty well. And again, these guys down here... Not bad. And Danzig is surrounded. Very awesome. Send in the tanks. Take out Danzig. This way we can see any sort of Polish navy that they have around here. Take them out. And then have a good time. Have a very good time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we got 41 army XP. That's pretty good so far. Go and lay this person out. Put this person in. The center line's not too bad. Go ahead and increase you to medium. Uh, actually, did I even... Let's do that, just in case. Oh, Fader Schultz. Infantry expert. Sounds good to me. That actually comes in very... That'll be very, very handy. I'm going to go to war in the future. Uh, casualties. We're running out of fuel. 13,000 casualties. Maybe get a little bit more fuel for now. From Venezuela. It's fine with me. Also, I'm basically going to turn Poland into an oil field. Just to let you know that. So we got a little bit more naval dockyard. That's good. Uh, with the Rhineland... Actually, it is... We can auto-do the Rhineland, which is fine. It gives it political power. And I will do this once we're done with the polls, because the French may go to war with us. It's very, very low chance, but even on historical AI, the French can still declare war on you if you do the Rhineland focus. But next up, let's see, we want to get a treaty with USSR, because it gives us a reduce ahead of time penalty by two years. That's actually really good with the treaty of the USSR. We could really use more oil, though. Integrate war economies. Eh, synthetic rubber. I could use more fuel. Um, infrastructure. Well, let's go with this one just so we get to the Treaty with the USSR next. And it helps us with our land doctrine. That's good. It's very good. And, oh, you are set up differently or something here? Hmm, hold on. Oh, since we're all, all here anyways. Just throw you up here. Everyone, single line. Prepare yourselves. Awesome. Tanks. Kind of do the same sort of deal. Under Field Marshal Gunther van Klug. <clears throat> Alright. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Grinding out a little bit of XP doesn't hurt anybody. And without using our tanks, we do pretty darn well. Uh, if I have to use my tanks again, which actually has only three tanks and a uh, motorized, it's fine with me. We are running out of fuel by using our tanks. 
So use the tanks sparingly. Let the infantry move around a little bit more, because right now our infantry will just go bonkers on them. Yeah. Less than 50,000 casualties is a pretty good number to look around. Oh, baby. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Adam, to you. I'm not really going to use fighters very much, so. And I want to make sure we have enough fuel. Uh, I think we're okay with our sea stuff here. With you, go home. Repair and go home. Just go home and repair. It's fine. That'll save just a little bit of fuel. Just a little bit. And send the tanks to go in, too. Improved airplane catapult, 1937. Happy 1937, everyone. I'm definitely going to go with construction speed just because we can build things up faster. And oh my gosh, look at that fuel. Um, you do the same. Go home. And the fall of Warsaw. Very good. The Poles are about to capitulate. Less than 50,000 casualties. And the Poles have suffered 150,000. <clears> Pretty good. Pretty darn good. And then we'll go with, yeah, max factories in the state and whatnot. Still, 180. 1.85 political power a day. The Ego Not Program. Uh, that would definitely not work well for us. We, no need for that. We don't need to do that either. Anti-democratic raids. We'll maybe, probably do that eventually. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. How is this looking? Oh, they're becoming 5% fascists. 6% fascists. Sub-religion of America. 5.685. So it goes up in the United States because we're boosting, using our PP to boost the United States by 0 0.08 a day. Warp. And there goes Poland. Awesome. And like I said, Poland, I'm going to use them for their factories. I could liberate a lot of things, but I'm not going to. Because I'm going to turn them into an oil field. That's literally why Poland is here. Awesome. Good job, guys. So now I will turn my direction uh, west. Yes, this is west. And the Spanish are still not done. So I will help them out once again because, hell, why not? Gives me XP. Gives me... A lot of air XP, holy freaking crap. I have a little bit of cop here that I forgot about. Oh, thank you. Hans Guderian is a very good guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can send four divisions. I'll oh, get boys, get back in here. We can do this. Send volunteers. Heinz, I don't need to split up you and your family anymore. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, okay. So we don't want to use up any more fuel if you don't have to. Come down over here and then you will, uh, let's see. So these are tactical bombers. Set them over here. Bomb the living hell out of them. Honestly, it doesn't look like the Republicans have that much of an air force. Um, close. I would love to use two players air supports, but let's send you down here anyways. Nice. MEF uh, companies demand MEFO payments, so we lose a little, a little bit of political power and lose consumer, some consumer goods. Uh, that's fine with me. It's acceptable losses for now. Oh, and actually, we just have a lot of repairing to do. Let's repair that. Oh, and we are using so many things for more fuel. Um, as much as I like you, Iran, I'm going to need a couple of my factories back. And since we ran out of MEFO bills, we're going to focus extremely hard now on factories. Just build a living hell out of all these factories. Uh, repair that one, too. That'll be good. I might, honestly, I might overdo it with the number of civilian factories we might make. But it's always good to have a lot of civilian factories. Always, always, always good. Let's see. Awesome. And awesome. National Spain's here. Um, uh, well, I told these guys to go home. Just go ahead and combine these guys. It's fine. Just train. I know that a lot of these ships are brand new and whatnot, but I need I need XP. I need to seriously grind out a ton of naval XP. Oh, I was waiting for these guys to get over here. I didn't realize they were already over here. My bad. But that's okay. We're almost capped out on air XP. That's actually really good. Come on. How many more days? Seven, six days. Awesome. Only 28% more war extension. Or world tension, I mean. 28% world tension. Uh, You know what? We'll send you all down this way. They got Malaga. Malaga, my friends. Awesome. Uh, let's do some air doctrine. Uh, let's see. Close air support. I love close air support. But since we're attacking the... Invading... <clears throat> excuse me. The United Kingdom. I'm probably going to actually use tactical bombers a lot more than close air support. So... I'm actually going to probably do this instead. Let's do that. Yeah. And this way we can continue grinding for more air XP. As, of course, time goes on. Uh, go, just go ahead. 
Uh, something tells me you'll be fine. Let's definitely get next treaty with USSR so we can get reduced head time of penalty by two years. Because I really, really want those 1939, <clears throat> excuse me, medium tanks. Consumer goods factories debuff will be gone soon enough. War economy, what is this? Industrial research speed, electronics, hmm. Synthetic resources research speed could be actually very good since I'll use that a lot. We will need more manpower. Naval bombers. Yeah, I'll probably go with Fuck Wolf. More reliability. <clears throat> oh, but tanks. When we do attack, we will need to attack very hard. It's not bad. Oh, this is sucks. You never want to get a smaller deck size for your carrier, so that's always a n no for me. But G Germania Weft Atlantic Fleet Designer. It's pretty good. Um, well, honestly, because we're going to need a lot of oil, I'm thinking we'll go with IG Faben. Refining, refining concern. We still get a small industrial research speed buff as well as in synthetic resources, research speed. Followed up with this one we, that we just chose, I'll probably do the airplane speed one next. Just because I'm going to need a lot of heavy fighters. And naval bombers. Naval bombers are key to this strategy. That's a lot of guys down here. Give them a little boost. Give them a little tussle. A little rustle. That's good. Sebastian Topete. Whatever your name is. Good. We got some work in here. Awesome. And we do have 124 factories now, which is pretty good. 66 civilian factories. Uh, let's see. Factories in total. Also... Uh, I'm still going to need to spam out actually a lot of these guys, so. That's good. 1937, we're still here. Uh, just go with production efficiency cap so we can make even more guns and tanks and whatnot. Uh, heavy fighters definitely will need more of those. Jesus. Cool. And capital ships. Yeah, that's why I'm grinding out a ton of naval XP right now. Come on. Not bad, not bad. We got Malaga. Uh, since we're here... And I've already kind of skewed away or pushed away all the templates for these old dead ships. I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade the Sean Holes here if I can. We have Battleship Armor 1. Let's get Battleship Armor 2, which doesn't reduce our speed because it already has negative 20% speed already, but gives us more armor and HP. This will give us... Uh, what do we have here? Mm, these guns are already heavy batteries are good enough. Let's get Anti-Air 2. I definitely want this improved floating aircraft and then I want another heavy battery because I want to make sure that we can just wallop the living hell out of any enemy we don't have any better engines yet so we have three heavy cannons which does a ton of damage and then radar we don't have that yet so then the last thing we can do is just secondary batteries which is totally fine with me lowers our speed by a little bit but whatever alright cool so then we'll make those better when we get there um, let's see. Our ships that are currently doing stuff. Can anyone be upgraded? No. Actually, no. Because these are the first ships that are actually using that template. Awesome. Uh, tanks are doing fine. Civil War here is almost over. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we grind out a ton of army XP. Look at that. That's awesome. So good. And giving our generals and our aircraft some much needed... XP as well. I knew leaving National Spain to itself once we helped out enough was a good idea. And now, just like in real life, the Catalonians, they want to leave Spain. But Spain, just like in our life, say no. Or should I say Spain says no. Excuse me, that's my coffee. I'm running out of space here on my desk. Let's see. 1937. Extraction could be very good. I do definitely need that. But can we do anything else for Navy stuff? Because you don't want to produce outdated stuff. Uh, super heavy battleship hulls are okay, but they just... It's an insane long time. Just trying to research and actually build the damn thing. That's not even really worth it. It's really not worth it with that. Um, let's see, 1937. Yeah, maintenance companies would be good, but it's not needed. We will do tanks soon. Land auction we're working on. Air, 1940s, that's fine. Uh, naval bombers, we will need this. We need these two, pretty much. And uh, junk Junkers. They're called Junkers, that's right. Engineering. Radar. I love radar, like I said before. Radar's amazing. But since we have this, maybe we could use a little bit more 
uh, resource efficiency gain, so we can get maybe a little bit more. One more chromium, maybe? Oh, Chinese United Front Forums. Maybe another tungsten, but we're out of rubber, so we definitely will need to make some... Oh, Hindenburg incident. You can't show that flag. No, no, no. That's a bad flag. Which, But, yeah, we definitely will need to build a lot of rubber, which, of course, we will build in what was known as Poland. Cool. Three divisions. Well, let's make that two. And begin a new group. New army group. Oops. I don't mind letting time go on, letting our guys just hang out together. Having a party together. Let's see, y'all come over here, you do that. Wait, what am I doing? What the hell? What am I doing, guys? Select all, please. There we go. That's better. And then you want to click them on here. And of course we'll give them a general. Someone who's good with infantry, someone who's good with the men. Elwin, Elvin von Le Witzleben. Hmm. And Sang Shan Zi joined the United Chinese United Front. Alright. And let's see, what type of damage could we do here? No longer get the effects of MFO bills. That's why I was eating up all our civilian factories, so now we are producing three lines of goods. So with all these civilian factories, that would actually be very good to do. Uh, anywhere that has 80% infrastructure, because you can build those faster. There you go. Yeah, we'll keep, just keep an eye on it, so. I'm gonna build, build, build. Germany has ever taught you anything, it's just German engineering is the best, so we gotta make sure we really emphasize that. Oh, look at these guys, they are so wounded, they're so tired of fighting. And, you know, I'll make sure they stop fighting. Oh, cool. Very good. Let's do that, and then... I know... I like motorized, but panzer divisions... Let's go ahead and get these panzer divisions ready for uh, the next batch of tanks when they come out. Infantry, since since we are having an extreme focus on heavy fighters, naval bombers, as well as some tactical bombers, and especially tanks, I'm not using artillery, so, which means our casualties actually will go up, and actually, yeah, let's add that. I'm going to need some field hospitals. I'm definitely going to need some field hospitals here. Go ahead and stop. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to lose too much here. Wow. Since we did that, wow. Hmm. Sin Kiang joined the Chinese United Front. I'll tell you why I'm just trying to poop out or, you know, poop out a bunch of uh, divisions. Because when we do Rhineland, then we go to Anschluss, which requires 550,000 manpower. And then we've got Demand Slovenia, which we already meet the requirements for three quarters of a million manpower. Research Eastern Claims, we get Claims, this, Danzig, Country, huh. Actually, you know what? I could probably glitch this a little bit. I could probably actually release Poland. Country owner is Poland, controller oh, original country is Poland, and then do that focus anyways, but I'll, I'll show that maybe in the next episode. Uh, let's see, Demand Suit, Dentonland requires three million of a quarter soldiers, as well as this one. I think, same for this. This one, no. Fate of Czechoslovakia, so we're actually good already, so we don't really need a rush out more soldiers that's good because i don't want i hate rushing out soldiers because they're really inexperienced they're not very good and that type of deal however 22 i like having a big army so let's do that mm, not training any tanks yet not yet uh <clears throat> for this though uh i don't mind if we have a single mountaineer division they can do that they can have that they can have artillery on that piece if it's just one division asking for artillery that's not bad See what the USSR says, and it's 1937. Two more dockyards, destroyer, lighter cruise models, light cruiser models. Uh, let's go to the Rhineland. And it's already bypassed because we went to war with Poland because it raised world tension. So, we get political power, army XP, and the French don't like us. anti commenter impact. And we want to do Anschluss next. That would be good just because we can get more uh, factories and divisions technically. I do want to do this stuff though, because look, our fuel is, our rubber is always very low. This wouldn't be bad. Here, innovations. Eh. Army innovations too is actually pretty good. Double land doctrine bonus. That's pretty good. Panzerkampfwagen, not bad. Let's go with Anschluss next. Mm. Ah, and I did find out what I. Who makes my coffee? It's from Hawaii. Oh, look. 
Look at all these guys I got uh, encircled. Good eight job. And the Soviets accept. So we get a bonus ahead of time for Panzerkampfwagen 3. And we like the Soviets just a little bit more. Ah, Soviets, thank you. I am definitely going to kill you someday. I mean, uh, just make you disappear. Make you disappear, that's right. Uh, what's next? I do need to go to War Economy. Because right now we get we don't get as much fuel as we could, possibly. Yeah, definitely need to go with War Economy. Hmm, what should we do? Maybe increase our manpower, actually. We're on limited conscription. Extensive conscription wouldn't be bad. Aircraft designer, it is 1937, so we don't really need to focus on aircraft just yet, because that's 1940s tech. Material designer actually would be good for infantry, because there's like every two years there's at least something you have to research for infantry, but tanks are tanks are good. Research speed but for one tank? Um... Uh, if we want the most benefit right now, let's check our decisions first. If I could get more war propaganda, that'd be great. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is something stupid. No, it's, not, it's not stupid at all, actually. Improve worker conditions. I want 100% stability, because stability gives you more political power, you can use more factories, and gives you more output. And it's better to take this on early than in the middle of a war. So let's do that. That'll help our stability. And whatnot. And our political power in the long run. Uh, I'm just pretty much letting our, uh, <clears throat> not allies, but our fellow nationalist fascist people uh, use our planes for XP. You know, for a good time. For a good time, yeah. Also, let's take a quick look. Do we have any, we have an extra destroyer, which is fine. Go and throw you on here. Just because that'll require a little bit more oil, but give us a little more naval XP. Ah, force rotation. Very good. Very, very good. Um, You know what? That's just 1937. We've already done a lot. I mean, I could do radar. I could do more of this. But we'll get that done eventually. And since we are grinding out a lot of air XP, we might as well continue doing this. And, oh, and we won. Well, I mean, I mean, the Nationalists won. Yeah. The Nationalists won. We didn't win. No, 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 no. Crazy talk. Uh, go and hold. Where are all my planes? Go ahead and hold. I don't need you to do anything for right now. Emilia Erhardt circumnavigates the globe. That's fine. We're doing Anschluss, and actually that means I'm going to need to turn all my divisions this way. The Austrians might say no to us, so we got to prepare ourselves, just in case. That'll be good. Make sure you do this. And, of course, there will be extra divisions that spawned already. As I took that off, Hinterpanner, Niederbayern, put it in Bavaria. And the tanks are home, just in case. Very good. Would you just come right there? Fighting through mountains with tanks? Sounds like a great idea. Oh! Japan declared war on China. So here's something else you could do. You could help the Japanese take out the Chinese. Or, you could help the Chinese take out the Japanese. Honestly... It's up to you. Right now, I'm not going to get involved because I really want to focus on my military. I might get involved in the next episode, maybe. But as of the moment, I don't really see a point to get involved. Maybe I'll send some planes in, but eh. I have bigger things to focus on than some pesky war. And then, yeah, I could use an army XP. Then some more air XP. I don't really get any bonus to naval XP, so... <clears throat> Uh, let's go ahead, and since we don't exactly need radar right now, let's get some more fuel from refineries, or fuel... Oh, that's 200 days, holy cow. Uh, let's go with 100 days. Sounds a bit better to me. Yeah, I could help with the Chinese. Excavation, awesome. That's actually really awesome, in my opinion. Armor. Oh, uh, yeah, panzers. Ooh, almost forgot about that. Yeah, get those panzers out there. If I help Ch Japan out, that would make a potential bigger enemy for the Comintern, which I don't really need any help probably in the end, if you know what you're doing. A lot of China has been united, except for Yunnan. They might be able to hold out. But we have enough political power for me to change my opinion on, on a lot of things. Uh, infantry designer really is probably the best thing to do. Mm, but if I help the Chinese out, they really won't ally with us. Japan will be reduced to... Focusing only on their war with the Americans. Actually, that sounds like actually a very good idea. If we make sure the Chinese beat the Japanese, which 
they are already taking out part of Mengkukuo. That means Japan will not be on mainland China. And then they could focus their efforts really on either taking out the Soviets or taking out the Americans when they do go to war. That's actually a very interesting idea. Actually, a very, very interesting idea. Hmm. That actually might be worth it to help the Chinese out instead of the Japanese. Because once the Japanese are entrenched in China, they're almost never done. I mean, sometimes they'll win and beat China, which is good, but sometimes they aren't. And that just drags everyone else through the mud. That's not a lot of fun. So, it's up to you. Ah, Anschluss. So, now we get a little more factories as well as manpower. Anschluss. Where repeated uprisings in Austria clearly show that the people there long to be united with our Reich. It is now time to take action and then allow the will of the people to be made manifest. So now we get a core on both parts of Austria, or all three parts of Austria. Uh, they join us, we annex them, we get more political power, we get more war support, 5% more stability, huh? And yeah. And Unschluss. Awesome. Now I could do the rest of this right now. But. I think instead, next time, I really want to get down to German war economy. Because even though integrate a war econo economies is great, I want to get to war economy so I can reduce the penalty, get rid of the penalty from the lack of fuel you get from partial mobilization, and then you get more consumer goods. So let's do that. Maximum infrastructure sounds good. Uh, we've got a bunch of guys here, and you know what? I'm just going to convert... Huh. You know what? Just add them here first. I'm going to Schnell Division. Just become an infantry division. You guys become a regular Mountaineer Division from us. And then you guys just become a regular Infantry Division. And then throw them onto here. Oh, and we probably got some Austrian Generals. Uh, someone who's good with... Oh, I love Ernst Eberhard Hell. I love him. And uh, he's politically connected. I don't like that. Alfred Jordel. I really don't like that. Kurt Student. Ah, screw it. We'll put Kurt Student on here. Awesome. So now, the, really, the next question is probably a, the question of Czechoslovakia, if we want to do that. If not, then uh, we'll see what happens. But with that in mind, we're going to end it here as we take the last look at the United States. They are 20% fascist. Very good. Uh, actually, let's set, go down on one more. And we have 144 factories. And we're, I think we have, we're doing pretty darn well. It's about a little bit after midway through 1937. And we are preparing ourselves, I think, fairly decently. With that in mind, guys, though, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we slowly annex other pieces of Europe and prepare for a total war. Thanks for watching.